My name is Wes Dawson, this is Gabagool and 8, and you have landed on a groundbreaking episode as we are going to clear out the cobwebs and we are going to expose some of the lies that we have been told for most of our lives. This is the 5G Conspiracy Don't Tread on Me episode. Thank God that wasn't the long format. I fe- Jeez. Right. Ah. That's what you get when you hire your high school bully to be your producer. Thanks, Kev. So this week, we're going to expose some of the lies that Big Brother has been telling us. You know, things like you know black helicopters in the skies, raccoons that can pick locks, people using avocados as sex toys. We're going to break these down. We're going to dig deep. We're going to get to the bottom of this. You, me, and the producer who hates my guts. Now, I have heard a lot about this 5G technology, and the more I read... I'll tell you people, the more scared I become. There's many things that have been directly linked to the 5G technology uh, for men. Have you ever tried to urinate and had it split into two separate streams resulting in a giant mess in your bathroom? Yeah, you can thank 5G for that. And what's truly exciting is we're going to explore some homegrown conspiracy theories happening in our own backyards. Now, despite any of the confirmed statistics surrounding the coronavirus, there's a lot of people are going to say, hey, Wes, yeah, but it's not fair. How come we have these restrictions imposed upon us? In this country, they've had these lifted. In that country, they've done different things. And they use these examples, and they are concrete, solid examples. Now, you're going to have some liberal sissy snowflakes saying, yeah, but Wes, those are in completely different geographical locations with different social, political, and cultural influences. I don't care. The coronavirus is being spread through owners of the GameStop stock and the Parlor app. Okay, or at least that's what I learned by watching Fox News. And to complement that piece, we are going to take a look at a study that directly correlates IQ levels with the people that post things like that. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I would like to list some of the conspiracies that we are going to go through during this episode. For one... Did you know that the key on a can of Spam can actually be used to access secret meeting areas of the stonemasons? Or that snake skins can be used as maps to cue anon gathering points? Yeah, we're also going to shed some light on the Illuminati. <laughs> and also, we are going to explore a conspiracy close to home. Actually, one that was born directly here in Montreal. Now, of course, this investigation was bred from rumors I had read online about a secret Kool-Aid-swilling cult that was disguised under the guise of physical education. And we're going to find out, is it truly the evil goat-worshipping group as claimed? Or just a gathering of like-minded people with similar goals with an emphasis on athleticism and discipline, and some people just weren't able to hack it? And last but not least, what exactly does the city do with all the dog poo they collect in parks? Hmm? You gonna answer that, Valerie Plant? Didn't think so. Well, now that we know what is on the agenda for this week's episode, we can at least move on to my expert panel member. On the hot seat this week, I'm gonna call the one person who knows the truth about this 5G technology, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. I'm calling my current cell phone provider. Hello, this is Samantha. Thank you for calling How can I be of service to you today? Well, I had a few questions for you about this 5G. I'd be happy to help you, sir. What would you like to know? Well, other than turning liberals into pedophiles, what other side effects does this 5G have? Um... Like in relation to the coronavirus, I mean. Wait. Sorry, excuse me, sir? I want to know about the health effects of your 5G technology. 5G technology just refers to the fifth generation of broadband cellular networks. The fifth update to your communication technology. There's been no reported adverse health effects related to 5G, and certainly not in connection with the ongoing pandemic. Oh. Okay, well, uh, uh, is it true Wi-Fi can lead to arthritis? Um, not that either, sir? Why do I walk with a limp? Jeez, you can't find good service anywhere these days. 
I was considering changing my provider anyway. So we are going to move into shoot or pistol whip. First off, we have people riding fat bikes in the metropolitan Montreal area, or that goes for just about anybody riding fat bikes in a city. Yes, first off, you look super cool. Yeah, about as cool as like a dad trying to explain to his kids why he's hip. You know, you're riding this thing around. It's twice the work. You look like twice the douche. Like if you're on a mountain bike, I can understand that. That's cool as fuck. But it's like if you're, you know, playing pickup hockey in full gear or, you know, you put on a rock climbing harness to walk up Mount Royal. It doesn't really make any sense. That I That's a shoot because I'll shoot them and I'll take their bike and I'll ride it in a proper location. Shooter pistol whip, giving shit to fast food workers. Now, first off, I don't think your job, your level of education, or your upbringing has any bearing on your merit as a human being. It, it's really your character and your actions that determine that. But the people who are like, you know, that's why you work at McDonald's. Well, yeah, but you're the fucking poor white trash who depends on McDonald's to feed your fucking family. Who are you to point a finger? Like, you're not the one leaving on a high note here. That's a shoot. Like, eat, like sniper level shoot, like... Jason Bourne's girlfriend getting shot in the head, him swerving off a bridge kind of shoot, okay? Like, I just kind of accept that McDonald's can't make their own two-step burgers. It's just part of the fun. I don't know what happened. We have run out of time. Honestly, this may be the result of liberal pedophiles. I will have to look into it. So, now, unless I get censored by the government, this is going to have to be a two-parter. So, some other topics that I want to touch on. I detail how the next Windows 10 update is the direct reason for the increase in lung cancer cases in Canada. It is a conspiracy bred to attack our guardian angels, Big Tobacco. So just remember, kids, take a big, long inhale and let that goodness soak into them alveoli. And also, we will talk about the coronavirus vaccine and how it is injecting GPS trackers into you. And I'll let you know about a terrific app that's going to help you pinpoint people around you that do or don't have the vaccination. And using your own phone's GPS, it'll help you sort of protect yourself from being tracked by the government. All that and more next week on Gabagoolinate. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Wes Dawson. Listen, like, share, subscribe. And always clear your browser history. <laughs>